I am sure these are going to be my next big sellers. What are they, I hear you ask? Well, they are soap dispenser pots. Now, these moulds aren't exactly the cheapest moulds, but they're not overly expensive. And I think I'm going to get a lot of castings out of these and be able to make some really good money. The other thing is that's really important with this mould is you cast this bit this way up. So the taller bit here is above your mould, not that way up. That one could be a little bit confusing. And then they fit on there. Now, they're going to take quite a bit of resin. The resin I'm going to use for this one is going to be the J-Diction high gloss epoxy resin that will cure in those really really nicely i'm going to do one clear with some bits and pieces in it and then the other one i'm going to do solid because this is a faceted finish and then i'll show you how to put them all together well, i've got my resin mixed up and i've poured it in here and then what i hope to be able to do here is trap some bubbles i know that's very unlike me but i would really like to trap some bubbles in this because i think the bubbles are going to look nice Pushing my leaves in and making a decision where I want them. I always dip them kind of in first. And I find that that way it, it, they tend to not float up to the top as much. And they will stick where I put them. Pushing them in. Again, trying to trap a few of those bubbles as I really would like to see those. I think they'll reflect the light really well. Big thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. If you'd like to become a member of my channel and join my channel, then the link for that is in the description below. We have a lot of things going on there at the moment. We've got some live streams coming up, members only videos, and lots of other support and help as well. Now I've got those in there, what I'm going to do is just burst the bubbles that have come up to the top, because in effect that is going to be the bottom of this container. Top it up a little bit and then scatter some dried flowers around this lid. I really like the way that this comes out and I'm sure you will when you see it as well. I was very impressed with these. Again, just burning off a few of those extra bubbles and now adding my mica powder for my second one. This is a bronze mica powder. I love the way this comes out. Oh, by the way, I'm on Instagram and I've also got a Facebook group page as well. If you want to check that out, the links to that are in the description below. So filling up the lid. I want to fill this up slowly because I want to make sure I can get everything really well cast, including the screw bit around the top. Pop in any bubbles and now what I will do is I'll leave these overnight to cure up. These are all cured now and I hope they're going to be easy to get out of the mould. I'm not sure this one is. It's quite a stiff mould but no, no, it does seem to be rolling down. You're going to have to have fairly strong hands to get this one out. It does have a rim on the edge so you've got something to pull on and perhaps if you put some cold water or something in it, soapy water, it would come out a lot easier. Oh, there we go. It, it wasn't too bad at all. Hopefully, some bubbles have stayed in this, but I'm not sure because I wanted them to. You could use that as a pot for pens and pencils as it is, but obviously I don't want to do that. So let's undo this. I think this one will come out a little bit easier because it's a little bit of a thinner mold. Oh, that has come out pretty. Now with this one, I did want bubbles in there. I wanted it to have quite a lot of bubbles. And that is one of the problems with the J-Diction high gloss epoxy resin. It is a really good value resin, but it degasses so easily that it's hard to trap any bubbles in there. And obviously that didn't go in a pressure pot or anything. But look how crystal clear that is. Now that I know that wouldn't be a problem 99.9% .9 of the time for me. But this time it was because I wanted to trap some bubbles and couldn't. And now it's just a case of gluing the tops onto them. And what I'm going to be using for this is 5 minute epoxy. The great thing I know, I've mentioned this loads of times, is this will dry really clear and... And it cures very, very hard and is cured in about five minutes. Depending on the temperature, it can take a little bit longer if it's colder outside. All I've done is put some on my mat because that's where I can take it off. I'm going to mix it together. Don't rapidly mix it. You don't want to introduce loads of bubbles into it. But what you do want to do is make sure that it's fully mixed. Because if it's not mixed, it'll be like normal epoxy resin and it just won't cure. Now this one is a really good design. It's actually got a little lip in there that I think is going to be ideal for gluing this down into. I want to glue it in because I think if not, when you pump it, you might end up pushing it over and knocking it over and it all spilling everywhere. Well, I know I would. So what I'm going to do is rather than put it on the actual pot itself, 
I'm going to go round this little lid here in a little stream of it like this. Using this coffee stirrer to put it on. Now it doesn't matter if you go over overlap it too much because it's not going to show anyway. It's going to be on the inside. But you do want to make sure that you get all the way around. I don't want any gaps in it whatsoever. And I think this one has come out lovely. I'll show you when it's finished. And then all I need to do is just pop that into there, give it a very light push, centralise it up a little bit. There we go, so that's nice and central. And then leave that to dry. Now with this one, I'm going to do something virtually the same, but this doesn't have a slot to fit on, so you have to put it on there like that. But I don't want it too thick. I'm going to go around a thin layer, going all the way around here like this, going all the way around as neat as you possibly can on the very edge I'm doing this. There we go, so that's all the way around. Now I'm going to place this on the top here and then move that around so again that is as central as possible and give that a little squeeze down. Now because this doesn't have a ridge to go into, all I'm going to do is break a coffee stick so it's got a little point and then go around that and clean that up a little bit. Probably doesn't even need it. It might be a little bit of overkill on my account, but I like to be as neat as possible where I can, which isn't very often. Now we'll leave those for five minutes to cure. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to make another 10 of this style and another 10 of this style with different patterns and things because I've got a craft fair coming up in a couple of months time and I think these are going to sell really well and I'm actually going to put them up for about £19 each which is about 22 American dollars each. I think they're going to sell very well at that price and I wouldn't be surprised if I don't sell out and I will probably make another video on this in a couple of months time letting you know how well it goes. And with that price, with the cost of the J-Diction High Gloss Epoxy Resin that I used, and with the tiny bit of 5 minute epoxy, a little bit of mica powder, and these flowers I dried myself using my microwave press from my own garden, then I think these are going to give me about 175% gross profit on them. Well, these have all cured up lovely, and it's just a case now of popping on the tops, giving them a screw in, taking out the little safety bit there, and then we've got a great pump action soap dispenser that I think looks really, really nice. You can get these tops in silver. You get a silver and a gold one when you order it anyway, when you order the mould, but you can get them separately. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I do. Like I said, I think this is going to be my next best seller. I love it. I really loved it. I mean, you know I love sparkly things anyway. I really love how this one has come out. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.